Unit 6. Check, please. <sighs> that was a good breakfast. Yes, it was. Are you full? I'm very full. You ate a lot. Huh. I was so hungry, I could have eaten a horse. Good thing we didn't go to the racetrack. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ah, that reminds me. What are we doing today? Let's go see a movie. Let's pay the bill first. Then we'll go see a movie. Okay. We'll see a movie. Juanita, check please. Okay, just a moment. Would you guys like to be together or separate? Uh, oh my god. I forgot my money. Oh, that's okay. I have enough. Uh, together, please. Okay. The total for your breakfast is 10.30. My aunt usually gives me a 50% discount. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. That'll be 5.15. Okay. Uh, here's $7. You can keep the change. Really? Keep the change? Yes, it's a tip for you. Thank you, Al. Yeah, thanks, Al. I'll, uh, I'll pay you back when we get to an ATM. Oh, don't worry, it's just breakfast. I'll get lunch. Are you sure? I eat a lot. Ooh, I forgot about that. That was a good breakfast. Yes, it was. Are you full? What are we doing today? Let's go see a movie. Let's pay the bill first. Juanita, check please. The total for your breakfast is 10.30. My aunt usually gives me a 50% discount. I'll pay you back when we get to an ATM. Unit 7. Meeting a friend. Bob? Isn't that Michelle? Michelle who? Michelle Lovett. We all went to school together. Here she comes. Hi. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Hi. Um, how can I help you? It's me, Al. We went to school together. Right. Al, right. And... Oh, my God. Bob Breeden. Bob, I haven't seen you in years. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I've missed you so much. Wow. Thank you. I thought I'd never see you again. It's some surprise. Oh, you bet. How, how's life? Are you married? No, I'm not married yet. So you're single then? Free and single. How about you? Are you working? Uh, yeah, I have a shop at the mall. Really? What mm -hmm. do you sell? Well, it's a mobile phone shop. So I sell mobile phones and accessories at the mall. Hey, Bob and I are going to go see a movie at the mall today. Interesting. Anyways. And, and, and Bob is going to buy a phone today. Really? Well, then you can come to my shop. What's your shop called? It's called Ring Me. I know that shop. Where is it? It's on the third floor at the mall. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. I hope to see you later, Bobby. <laughs> Bye. See you too. Bye. Bye. Bob? Isn't that Michelle? 
It's me, Al. We went to school together. Bob, I haven't seen you in years. How are you? Are you married? No, I'm not married yet. How about you? Are you working? I have a shop at the mall. Unit eight. How's your car? Hey, Al. Is your car? No.、Oh, I took it to the repair shop. Oh, did you have an accident? No. I left it with the mechanic for a tune-up. When will it be ready? The mechanic said it will be ready on Monday. That's such a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. Are you planning on going on a trip? No, I just take it to the mechanics every three thousand kilometers or so. Why do you do that? It's very old. It needs a lot of care. How old is your car? It's a 1975 model. Ha! That's not so old. My grandmother was born in 1912. Well, I guess compared to your grandmother, my car isn't that old. Hey, wait a minute. How are we going to get to the movie? Well, we can walk or go by train. Up to you. Are you crazy? Walk? The shopping mall is much too far. In that case, we'll go by train.、Oh. Hey, Al, where's your car? I took it to the repair shop. Did you have an accident? No, I left it with the mechanic for a tune-up. When will it be ready? How old is your car? Nine. About the train. So, Bob, do you take the train often? Yes, Al. Almost every day. Almost every day. It's a lot. Well, I enjoy the train. It's very convenient. I see. And it's the fastest way to travel across town. Are there many people on the train during the rush hour? Well, there are many people in the morning before work, and there are many people in the evening after work. What about other times? At other times, no, not so many people. And there's never a traffic jam on the train. There's never any traffic jam. Oh, that's good. That's the fastest way to travel. Yeah, you know, I think it's faster than driving a car. And the train is not very expensive. Hey, Bob, look at that sign. The university. Uh oh. We're waiting the wrong train. We're on the wrong platform, teacher. Yes, we're on the wrong platform. So now, what do we do? Well, we can take a taxi. Taxis are good. Yes, taxis are good. Let's take a taxi, and we won't waste our time waiting for the wrong train. Do you take the train often? Yes, Al. Almost every day. Are there many people on the train during the rush hour? And the train is not very expensive. Hey, Bob. Look at that sign. So now, what do we do? Unit 
10. A pair of shoes. Hi. Oh, those shoes are lovely. Can I see them? Which ones do you like? That back pair looks really cool. Huh? Um, the black ones here. The black ones, they're quite lovely. Imported from Italy. I've been to Italy. <laughs> How much are they? These shoes are eighty dollars. Eighty dollars? That's so expensive. Mm, not so expensive. Only forty dollars for one shoe. Do you have another pair of black shoes? Mm, this pair, only twenty dollars. Why are these shoes so much cheaper? Because they are made here. Hmm. Made here. What about the quality? The quality is very good. These shoes will last a long time. How about fifteen dollars for the pair? Oh, I'm sorry, not enough. Eighteen. I'll give you sixteen. Okay, for you, special price, $16. Would you like a bag? No, that's okay. Thanks anyway. I'll, I'll wear them. Thank you. Oh, those shoes are lovely. Can I see them? Which ones do you like? How much are they? Do you have another pair of black shoes? Why are these shoes so much cheaper? The quality is very good. These shoes will last a long time. 